So if you tried to open one of your third-party apps on Fire TV devices right now, you may notice this little triangle right here, but you may notice even more than that, when you go into it and click on launch application, you're now getting this, which is making it completely useless to use. And this is happening across pretty much every third-party app that does anything associated with what we're talking about today. You guys will know what I mean. But you might have heard, oh, there's actually a way to change this because Amazon has in their app store something called the app cloner. Now, essentially what this did is allow you to change the package's name while cloning the same third-party app. Pretty cool, right? Well, can we actually do that? Let's talk about that today. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. I do weekly news talking about different things, everything from streaming devices, streaming services, and all the newest tech. So we do smart home tech too. Hit the subscribe button right down below. Okay, let's get into it. Let's talk about this. So App Cloner was this pretty big deal because it allowed you to clone your apps, which would essentially bypass this issue from Amazon. But of course, it seems like it is removed. So in a move that shouldn't surprise many, Amazon has taken down App Cloner from the Amazon App Store, which was spotted by Tech Doctor UK. Tech Doctor UK, bro, this guy just always on point, always hits the spot. The app, which was able to duplicate an app and the device's name using a new name, recently gained popularity. And it was, of course, circumventing Amazon's piracy policy. So this should be no surprise this is taken down. Um, Amazon creates something that they don't want their devices to be able to do, which is um, any chance of you watching content without potentially paying for the subscription. They, of course, want that ability gone because they have a lot of different licensing rights. So they don't want you, they want you to have to pay for it. And if you guys remember my rant last week where I talked about how I had to rent Lord of the Rings despite owning every single streaming service. Yes, I know the guy that talks about streaming paid $5, but anyways, it was for convenience. Um, but here it is. So app cloners, developers say they received a notice from Amazon saying the app has been removed for violating the terms of service. The Amazon Developer Service Agreement does state under prohibited actions that may not reverse engineer, dissemble, or decompile any binary code. While an argument can be made that chaining an app's package name doesn't touch the binary code, only its metadata, the technicalities do don't matter. And that's just true in this case. So if we head over again to our device here, so let's head to main full device, and we scroll here to the App Store, I just want you guys to keep in mind, Amazon doesn't care um, what you think. If you think that maybe you didn't bypass their policies, um, they're going to do what they want. You know, they're a multi-billion dollar company. So we go to App Cloner right here. You can see it's completely removed. Again, this is no surprise. Now, this doesn't mean that there's not going to be other workarounds. You can still simply, before you install the APK on your own PC, just get an App Cloner, like a, a, a PC version right? There's going to be versions like that where you can just do it before you transfer it to your Fire TV device. Right now, they are just blocking apps. And this has been official now. They're not just giving you that warning anymore. The app is now completely blocked and removed. They are now still just doing it through the package name, which is not a very good system because this can change daily, right? Like the people that create the app can just simply change the package name or you can do it. And then the whole blocking system is basically useless. So they're essentially just getting these endless lists from either ACE, which is Alliance for Creativity, and that's a big license protection group. Um, these companies are usually uh, sponsored by Netflix, you know, um, Prime, Amazon, Google, all these different companies come together to create these conglomerates that basically go after websites, apps, and stuff like that, which makes sense, right? They want their IP protected. We know they're greedy. Very, very greedy. Um, so yeah, that's basically what's going on right now. Completely blocked. The workaround does not work. So don't fall for it, guys. Unfortunately, right now, it has been officially pulled from the Amazon App Store. And uh, yeah, that's it. Life's good if you have a fire stick. Just kidding. It's not. It's, yeah. Let me know what you guys think down below. Has Amazon taken this a step too far? I would say so. And if you guys want to support the channel, literally the best way of doing that, if you like hearing me rant, just go down below in the description of my video. IP Vanish, they're a great sponsor of mine. You guys get a service and I get a kickback because Google is paying us less this year. You know, our ad revenue is down. 
And uh, IP Vanish, luckily, gives me a kickback. So if you guys want to support, click on that link. You get a great service out of it, which is going to protect you anytime you're online streaming or doing anything else. Helps keep your identity private from any potential creeps or any hackers. And uh, I suggest their two or three year deal or their two or year one year deal because you get a 30 day money back guarantee and you get uh, three gigabytes of e data. So let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.